At around 8 a.m. on the morning of the 14th of January 2024, the volcano Fagradalsfjall near on the Reckinus Peninsula, Iceland, began to erupt again. This was the fourth eruption in as many years, and at the time of filming, part of the nearby town of Gridavink has already been destroyed. But why is Iceland so volcanically active? Let's find out. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Brute Johnson, and I'm a geologist who studies rocks that are billions of years old, and the tiny fossils that we find in those rocks. You can find me all over social media as Geology Johnson, and with that out of the way, let's crack on. I like doing this. Sounds really good in this room. Iceland is a large island in the North Atlantic Ocean and one of the Earth's youngest land masses. The events that would lead to the formation of Iceland started about 60 million years ago when a large volcanic system called the North Atlantic Igneous Province began erupting in what is now Northwest Scotland, Ireland and Southeast Greenland. If you can hear people talking it's because there's workmen in the office next door fixing the electricity. This volcanic activity was the result of a supercontinent Laurasia separating into North America in the west and Eurasia in the east with the North Atlantic opening in between them. A huge amount of magma was emplaced into and erupted into the crust and the, an entire new ocean basin was formed which we call the North Atlantic. The process of continent splitting is called rifting which first creates a rift valley which then floods to become a new ocean. The rift valley in Africa is an early stage of rifting and eventually East Africa will separate and become a new continent separated by Africa from a new, by a new ocean. The North Atlantic spreading is continuing to this day and the ocean is widening at about the same rate that your fingernails are growing. Around 6.6 .6 million cubic kilometres of lava was erupted by the North Atlantic Igneous Province. But where did all of that molten rock come from? If you want to melt a rock to create a magma or a lava, you need to increase the temperature of the rock past the melting point of the minerals in that rock. The magma and lava that was erupted by the North Atlantic Igneous Province was mostly basalt or derived from basalt. So see my videos on basalt and gabbro for more details about those. Basalt comes from melting of the mantle and this may come as a surprise but the mantle is actually mostly solid. Even though it's at about 1000 degrees Celsius at the crust mantle contact, the mantle is under immense pressure which prevents it from melting. So think of the weight of all of the rock above it pushing down on it. This means that you need a lot of heat to generate any melting in the mantle. Another way to melt rocks is to lower the melting point of the minerals. To decrease the melting point, you can drop the pressure surrounding the rock. This is called adiabatic decompression. There are other ways to lower the melting point of a rock, but this is the main one that applies to the North Atlantic Igneous Province and Iceland. As you've probably figured out by now, pulling the crust apart, which is what happens when continents split in an ocean forms, reduces the pressure in the mantle below the crust that's being stretched. This dropping pressure in the mantle below the stretching crust leads to melting to of about 15% of the underlying mantle. The liquid, which we then call a melt, is hotter and more buoyant than the surrounding mantle material, which means that the melt rises up into the overlying crust. Because the crust is being stretched and is relatively cool and brittle, it breaks forming faults. The faults are planes of weaknesses where movement can happen and that's what generates earthquakes. But the faults are also pathways for the rising magma and it can force its way up into the crust along the faults. Some of this rising magma crystallizes deep in the crust and becomes gabbro, and some of it rises all the way to the surface and erupts as lava which cools into basalt. The rising magma and the magma that cools in the crust forces it further apart, reducing the pressure in the mantle below and causes more melting. Then more magma rises and in places into the crust or erupts up onto the surface, so on and so forth, over and over again, until the whole thing's over after many millions of years. This is how ocean crust is formed, so see my videos on basalt and gabbro for details on that. But this process can't account for all of the lava seen in the North Atlantic Igneous province in Iceland. Something else must be heating the rock up too. If we look under Iceland using seismic waves, we can see this structure rising up from the boundary of the core and the mantle. The different colours here show the relative speeds of the seismic waves travelling through this area. Some of the waves are being slowed down because they're passing through mantle that's hotter and contains more melt. These structures are called mantle plumes. Giant columns of heat rising from deep within the mantle, and the one under Iceland has existed for over 60 million years. Mantle plumes cause volcanism in other places on Earth too, like the Hawaiian island chain. Under Iceland, the mantle plume causes volcanism by heating the rocks and melting them. But also, because the plume heats the upper mantle, the mantle bulges upwards because it becomes more buoyant, lifting the crust, reducing the pressure, and causing even more melting. And more melting means more volcanism. If you look at a map of the volcanoes on Iceland, you can see that they follow the crack left by the splitting continents. If you follow this path offshore and down into the ocean, you'll find a vast crack and mountain chain called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which runs right down the centre of the Atlantic Ocean. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is the longest, most volcanically active mountain chain on Earth and marks the places where continents are splitting apart or rifting, starting with North Africa and 
North America about 200 million years ago, followed by South America and West Africa about 187 million years ago, then North America and Eurasia about 60 million years ago. So that's why Iceland is so volcanic. It's part of the longest volcanic chain on Earth. It marks a place where the movement of continents is tearing the crust apart, and it's the location where a mantle plume reaches the surface. It's where some of the youngest land on Earth is being actively formed and gives us a glimpse of how the first continents formed billions of years ago. And we learned all this by reading the story written in the rocks, which is all geology is really. Gridavink was evacuated long before this eruption started, and the Icelandic people are well prepared for this kind of event. But it still must be upsetting to see your house getting demolished by an unstoppable flood of lava. If you want to keep up to date on the ongoing eruption and see the live stream of the volcano, then you can follow the Icelandic Meteorological Survey using the links below and watch their live stream. I hope you enjoyed this quick explanation of why Iceland is so volcanic. As always, if there's something that you want me to talk about in relation to geology, then let me know in the comments. Click the buttons, like the things, do the stuff, feed the algorithm monster, and all that jazz, please. I hate asking that. Until next time, take care, stay safe, have fun with your rocks, latest potatoes. Mm, Yorkshire tea, the best tea. This volcanic activity was the result of... Uh, but where did all of that molten rock come from? Mm. Was it you? Did it come from... Was it you? Did you, did you do this? You, you naughty person. Doing lots of pointing again. Pointy, pointy. Blah, 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 blah. That pulling them. Mm. Oh. You've probably already figured out by now. Something gigantic. It's very hot. Oof. Adiabatically melted my mouth. Something deep below the crust. I can't do my spooky voice because I don't have enough phlegm. 60 million of your earth years, blah. Under Iceland, the mountain. Why Iceland is so, uh, so that is why I talk like a robot down there. Just in case you don't know where the comments are. You might not, you might be new here.